actually, Darian, coming up with another good question here. This is something that's been raging with the uh, analytics community for a little bit. I'll give a quick answer here, but is an elite pass rusher an elite corner valued more? Uh, I think that for one season, the elite corner is more valuable, but as far as a career goes, elite pass rusher is more valuable. The, the data says that while elite corners for that one season are very great, they tend to have one or two great blip seasons and they are much more volatile year to year where a pass rusher, they are great for like five, six, seven years. So if you're talking about one season, I'll probably take the cornerback. But if you're talking about team building long term, I'll probably take the pass rusher. Yeah, I'm going to take the elite pass rusher all day. And that's because of the nature of the NFL. If you can get to the quarterback and sack the quarterback, you're going to win football games. The 2015 Denver Broncos are the perfect example of that. Now, that's not to say that an elite cornerback is not significant on your team because Lord knows the Broncos are looking for one. But um, I also look at the the trend of, of pass interferences and holding and, you know, the changing of rules on what's reviewable and what's not. And the benefit of the doubt always goes to the quarterback and the wide receiver. Now, sometimes we've seen Bradley Chubb last year get wrongfully called for a couple of hits that cost them the Chicago Bears game. And so while the argument can simply be made that, you know, games can ultimately be lost from a pass rusher's point of view as well, I'm going to take the pass rusher just because that corner is going to get flagged every time. The receiver always gets the benefit of the doubt. And I hate it because I love defense. Ah, uh, man, I feel like I used to love defense, but after these past few seasons, inject offense straight into my veins. I can't take it anymore. The Peyton Manning era spoiled the hell out of us.